Welcome to the first Summer Reading Club Maker Box video. I'm Azaria, and together we're going to be doing all sorts of cool projects throughout the summer. Each Thursday at 1 o'clock, we're going to find out what mysterious materials lay in the Maker Box. Uh, all you need is your Maker Box, a place to create, and your imagination. All right, are you guys ready? Let's build something. All right, let's get started. Everybody grab your Maker Box. We're gonna grab the July 9th paper bag and open it up to see what's inside. On the count of three, uh, open up your bags. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa! We got all sorts of cool stuff in here. We have two paper clips, two wooden skewers, one piece of wire, some pretty cool stickers, and a piece of wood that should have a hole drilled through it like this. All right, by looking at our handy dandy instructions, we can see that this week we're building a cranky contraption. So this week, instead of me showing how to do it, Miss Monica Conway with the school district has a really good makerspace video on her YouTube channel on how to put these together. So we're gonna link below um, the, her YouTube channel and then you can go there and watch the step-by-step -step video and then come back here where we have some really cool modifications and designs that you can make to your cranky contraption. So have fun and I'll see you in a minute. If you don't have a maker box or you wanna make even more cranky contraptions, you can create one out of things you find around your house. This one is made only using paper clips and a juice box. All you really need is a piece of wire and something for the wire to pass through, like a juice box or a piece of foam. Now that we have our basic cranky contraption, which is pretty cool, we can get creative and start making some neat ideas. So the first thing you can do is take out your stickers and put them on the top so you have a little astronaut floating in space used by a sun Woo so you can decorate your whole block if you want to or if you want to do something else then you can use your imagination to come up with some cool ideas so I was pretty excited about this project and I made a couple different versions that you guys can either copy or get inspiration from. The first one I made is a dancing astronaut. Woo woo! He's just having fun. He's raising the roof. Maybe he's waving. He's really excited to see some aliens off in the distance. So this was pretty easy to make. All you have to do is cut out um, the body and then tape it on there. And then you take your arms and cut them out, but cut them extra long so that you can bend them like an accordion. And then when it goes up and down, it won't break the paper. And he's just moving up and down. Now you could do some really cool things with this. You don't have to do an astronaut. You could do a monkey. You could do a little worm maybe, bobbing up and down. Um, you could do your favorite animal, your favorite um, character from a book. You can get super creative with this and make some cool ideas. The other thing I did make a little scene with my cranky contraption. So I decided instead of a space theme this time I was gonna do a pirate theme. So here I have my little pirate ship and he's being chased by the kraken in the middle of the ocean. He's trying to get away. Woo! Uh-oh. So not. You could also do some really cool ideas with this one. Um, you could even put a background behind it. Um, yeah, you could do more space theme. You could do a witch on her broom going up and down. Um, you could do all sorts of cool ideas. These are just a couple ideas that I thought of, but I know that you guys can make some really cool things with this cranky contraption. So if you have um, some neat creations you'd like to send us, you can email us. It might have a chance to be featured on next week's Maker Box video, and I would love to see all your guys's cool imaginative creations. Isn't that a cool project? Our cranky contraptions work because of a simple machine called a crank. 
Um, there's cranks in many everyday objects. If you've ever used a bicycle, reeled in a fish, or sharpened a pencil, then you've used a crank before. If you want to learn more about simple machines and how our cranky contraptions work, then we'll have a bunch of resources and links below for you. Besides that, don't forget to send us pictures and videos of your creations so we can feature them next week in your MakerBox video, where we're going to be making something else pretty cool. Thanks for watching our first ever MakerBox Summer Reading Club video, and I hope to see you guys next week. Bye!